Kai, and welcome to part six of my platformer tutorial series. Today we're going to be going over um, a shorter video, and it's basically just going to be where we're going to be working on the player, so uh, making it better and making a special effect, a tail, for this player, and um, just to make a really cool effect that some games have. So let's get into it. Let's start <clears throat> by changing the player. I'm just going to delete the player there. I'll zoom in, make some, maybe like a, a black box, or why not I do this in bitmap. You can do it in however you want. And you can do it the way I'm doing it, or I even encourage you to do it your own way because I... I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing, and it's good to be creative, so. Yeah, so this is pretty bad, I have to admit. Can't really see very well because my mouse is in the way. It's one thing that Scratch can improve on, but that's all right. Okay, so there's kind of a, a player. Maybe I'll do one more. Or yeah, that's good. That's good. So then I'll just fill it in like this. Yeah. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make uh, some white eyes. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to make it so the eyes move in the direction that you are going. So if I just make the eye like that, the eye like that, um, and we blow up the size a bit, maybe like 110, maybe more than that, maybe even uh, 150, maybe more than that, maybe 250. Not 2,500. There we go. That looks okay, I guess. Um, and then I can also call this uh, standing, I guess. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to make a new one that is actually slightly to the right. So then I can... Black, get rid of that. And then take a white again. <laughs> like that. And then take another black. And get out that. So he's kind of looking like that. And then we'll even do the other way. Um. Right, like this, and so we're going to flip horizontal like that, and then you can create to a uh, bitmap again to make it blow up a little bit, and so then we're going to run the code and make. It works. So, start by saying, uh, normally when the flag is clicked, we're just going to set it to standing. Oh, and I forgot to do one other thing. Go to the costumes and call this right and this left. Like that. And now what we're going to do is... We're going to go right arrow, do right arrow press, switch costume to right. And if the left arrow is pressed, switch costume to left. Like that. And then what we can say is we can have an if, uh, if, uh, yeah, an if statement. 
And in that if statement, we're going to have a not, and then a, and, or, or of an or. I guess. So if we just did an or and we just said, if the key right arrow is pressed, or the keys left, uh, Left arrow, uh, yeah, left arrow is pressed, and we put that in the not. We can click on that, and it should say true. Yes, and if I'm pressing the right arrow, false, and if I'm pressing the left arrow, false, and if I'm pressing both, false. That works perfectly. We'll do that in the if statement, and in there we'll say switch costume to standing if I'm not pressing anything else. So, in fact, what you can do is you can even put this just in front of here, and it will do the exact same thing probably. And I'll leave this just in case. So I'll start this, and we're like that. I'm moving this way. See? Well, why I have this perfect script, I could put that after or wherever I wanted, and it would work. But why here? Why does that work? Well, it switches it to standing, and then it's like, okay, now we can change it if another key's pressed. But another key's not pressed, so... You can just move around like that, which is good. Now, what if when we're on our way downward, our eyes go down? Mm hmm, that's a good, a uh, harder thing, but it would work, hopefully. Hopefully, <laughs> not 100% sure. And I'll say right down because we're moving down, and I will make the eyes slightly longer. I'll make them kind of down here. And so it looks really long, but we can go down like that, like that, and then we'll go left, down, and not down two. And I'm just convert to vector, flip horizontal, and you really don't have to convert it back to bitmap, but I'll do that just in case. And so. Now we have that, and we can say at the end of this, if this if statement is going to be checking to see if is less if uh what is less the y vel is less than zero, which means we're on it going down downhill, going downwards. Uh, and if we are, then we want to have a if else statement inside of that. And we're going to say if costume name. You can do costume number, but costume name makes it a little bit easier to read the scripts um, if you have your names actually named something relevant to what it's called or what it is. I mean, so if the costume name is right, uh, then it, then we'll just uh, switch costume. Uh, to write down. And then a statement inside of there. If it is equal to left, then we'll do left down. And then one more if statement inside of that, just a single if statement, but it will have the same argument. Uh, standing. Oh, that's one other thing we have to do. Sorry. Uh, I also have to make one more or uh, standing. Actually, we could probably just do one of these ones. What I have to do is I have to make a one right in the center. So, like that and that. And then black. Like that. So that's just when you're falling down. Then switch costume. To standing. Okay, I'll try that. So right there, I jump up, and I don't actually fall down. So y vel is less than zero. It's true. Um, but for some reason, it's not working. What is y vel right now? Zero, 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 zero. Oh, oh, minus one. If it's less than minus one, like that. Now if we do that, 
he still does not work. What is that? Well, I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. So, I'm going to have to figure that out. What if we took this script, and we took it, and we put it... Because if we take this, we look at it, it's false. And it's false, false, but what if I jump? And that's true. So, that works. That uh, argument works. Now, what about this? Is this true? Oh, look, standing. Stand, uh, left down two. We forgot to call that that, so. Hmm. Okay. If we put it right here, will that work? Ah, look at that. Door up, and then we're looking down. See that? How when we're falling down, our eyes look down. So that's perfect. That's exactly what I want to do. So we might be running out of time, so I'm going to do this last special effect that you could do that makes your guy look so cool. I'm going to have a create clone myself right here. That's always happening. And then when I start as a clone, I want to switch costume to a blank costume. It's not necessarily blank, but it's just, uh, it doesn't have any eyes on it. Or, yeah, it doesn't have any eyes, so it's just going to be kind of this blank. And I'm going to call it... I'm gonna call this um, stand uh, standing down. And I'm gonna call this clone for it's, it's the clones that are gonna be that. So anyway, in the code, we're going to grab a um, switch costume to clone. Switch costume to clone, and we're going to repeat about twenty five. I don't know. Change size by minus five and change ghost effect by minus or uh, five. We'll do five and then delete this clone. So now we're up in the air. What is that? Oh, 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 okay, okay. So, the reason why that is, is because we said, if touching color, black. Well, our clone is black. So, <laughs> well, there's you can do it a couple different ways to fix that, but I think the simplest way, at least for now, is just going to make this guy. We're going to turn him gray. So, the, spe the effect will not be just the same, but it won't necessarily be worse. It's kind of just a matter of taste, I guess. Perfect. Like that. Like that, okay, okay. So I snort this. And kind of like a tail. See? It is kind of slow because of how the tail works. It's just a ton of clones. Uh, but I'm going to make the tail slightly smaller. So I'm going to make it 20. And I'm going to make it minus 10. Uh, let's try that. And maybe the ghost effect by 10 too. We just have a little tail uh, that we can, like, use to do nothing, but it just looks cool. Um, and so that is kind of cool. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and please remember to subscribe. Okay, let's get through this. Ah.